What's the final tally? Nigel, do you want to hit us with the uh, curse tracker, which I'm, I'm guessing is low, right? <laughs> there, this is a first. There is no cur there's, he, there's no cursing. Zero curses in this. There are two honorable mentions that I will say when he says, Jesus freaks, and when he says, I am your God now, but I didn't count no, those because they weren't said in, in the mm -hmm. context of being curses. Yeah. Uh, you know, so that's it. Um, yeah. There is swearing in this movie, but none of it comes from red. Yeah. Uh, so I think it, who would have thought that this, the most bloody, gory, dark <laughs> movie we've seen so far had zero curses in it. Super clean. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. Leads, leads <laughs> back to that, like him being, you know, the, the actual Messiah in this story. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He, he does, yeah, he doesn't have, doesn't need a potty mouth to be the the, <laughs> the embodiment of evil vengeance or whatever he is. Uh, so yeah, our total still sits at two hundred and twenty four. Over on so. the nudity side of things, um, there were there was the uh, the nude guy in the camper, um, the dead dead guy. So I counted that as like I'm only tracking a few things here, uh, <laughs> and. Uh, one is male ass. So there's female ass and male <laughs> ass, and I separated those out instead of just doing ass and in general, which uh, we had two in this. So we had that guy, and then I counted the guy in the porno um, just because yeah. I counted the side ass of the homeless guy in um, uh, Bringing Out the uh, Dead. Bring and out then the I, dead. I counted the side ass of the the woman on the bed in uh, Dog Eat Dog. So I kinda, mm. I'm stuck now. I gotta, I gotta count side asses. <laughs> yeah. Um, so two man asses, and then of course Jeremiah's uh, floppy dong is our first confirmed <laughs> penis. We have talked about uh, Nick Cage having a full on uh, tent <laughs> in. Uh, in Vampire's Kiss, but I, I think at this point I'm gonna throw that one out. I'm not gonna count that one anymore as like <laughs> yeah. actual nudity. It's not nudity. Uh, no, it'll just be an honorable mention. <laughs> yeah. So that brings our, our grand total up to 19 breasts, most of them in Dog Eat Dog. Uh, two female asses, four male asses, one vagina, also in Dog Eat Dog. And I'm, I'm like on the fence on whether I should count that because it it is full frontal, but it was in a, a porno website that they were looking at. And then one penis in uh And then in you're Mandy. not going to count the cartoon, the cartoon nudity? No, nope, not going to ca count cartoon nudity. <laughs> Yeah, I wondered about it. I was like, "Are we gonna count this?" But I was yeah, like, I "Nah, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I just I can't count cartoons." <laughs> Though it'll be interesting if we if we tracked that separate. Like, how many nude cartoon characters <laughs> have we seen throughout this entire journey? But yeah. So far, one. <laughs> Um, yeah, but I mean, once we get to a hundred and something, then who knows? Yeah, who maybe. knows? Uh, especially mm -hmm. since we're doing T Titans and uh, and uh, oh into, the, into the Spider Verse, you know, there's <laughs> bound to be some nudity. Man, these kid movies went a weird route. <laughs> <laughs> um, as far as our state slash country tracker, we still have not left the United States once in nine movies, which is astounding to me. Um, we were back in California again. That is the uh, third time that we've been in California with um, uh, Deadfall and uh, Wicker Man. So that's three times in California. Seven mm -hmm. total states so far. So California, New York, Washington, Louisiana, Massachusetts, Illinois, and Ohio. On the uh, budget side of things, this movie cost $6 million to make. Um, very well spent. I feel like the, the that $6 million went a long ways for this movie. Mm -hmm. It really um, did, yeah. Uh, it only made back $1.4 million, which I'm assuming is, you know, it was only in a very limited release. Um, and $1.4 million is actually not not terrible when you consider what kind of art house movies, um, what, what kind of an art house movie this is and what kind of movies Nick Cage had predominantly been doing for the last 10 years at that point in 2018 yep. and going forward. <laughs> um, this was kind of the... Uh, the, the first movie that really brought Nick Cage back into the, like, okay, we can take Nick Cage seriously again realm, which is kind of crazy. Because, like, you know, I feel like Mom and Dad, that movie is also produced by the same group, which we'll watch uh, probably next season or the season after. Um, but uh, that movie was the first movie that people started taking him serious in these horror movies. And uh, hmm. since then, you know, Mom and Dad had a pretty decent tomatoes, Rotten Tomatoes score, 
I feel like. I don't remember what it was. But uh, then Mandy's at 90% and Colorado Space is 86, I think. So, <laughs> yeah, it's kind of his resurgence has come through these movies. But uh, overall, so far, um, I feel like this is going to change drastically with our next film. But right now we're at $125 million um, budget and uh, a gross of 78.5. So that's a big deficit. It's a big deficit yeah. for these new <laughs> nine movies so far. Um, on the ratings side of thing, we've had, uh, this was another unrated movie, um, which is four now. Four out of the nine that we've done have been unrated, which, uh, yeah, says a lot about his choices the last uh, 10 years or so. Um, <laughs> yeah. But uh, four R-rated movies, one PG-13, and, and then four unrated movies. So, yeah. Nice. Nice. We uh, cleared up the biker stuff because that was going to be one of my questions. <laughs> like, you know, was that the guy that came back from the pit and all that stuff? So we cleared that up. So with, the, with clearing that up, uh, we had nine nine deaths or nine. Uh, he killed nine people in this film uh, between the bikers and then the, the, the cult, um, the cult members bringing us to a grand total of 17 kills over the nine films we watched. So he had uh, eight coming into this movie and then he clipped yeah. that. <laughs> he nine. clipped it. He was plus one in this one. Did you count the, uh, <laughs> the chemist? See, I, I, did he that's, kill him? I, he didn't I guess kill that's him. another one I wanted to talk to you guys about because yeah. I, I didn't count the chemist because they left that up to be very to be open to yeah. interpretation. And my interpretation yeah. is that he, he let him. the chemist go, which was yeah. him letting the tiger go. I don't think the tiger was real. I think that was just a part of his hallucination, and it represented the chemist, and it was his decision to let the chemist go because ultimately the chemist didn't do anything to wrong him, and he gave him the information to then go complete his. Yeah, his revenge. Plus, he kind of powered him up by giving him the LSD. Yeah, that too. <laughs> I, th I thought it was, was kind of representing um, Red as the tiger because we've seen that thread, you know, mm. with his T-shirt, yeah. and then we see that tiger True. in there, and, and then the after credits, that's a good point. the cartoon. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Credits, that's actually a good point. Uh, so, uh, Death Tracker, uh, obviously, he survived. Uh, once again, our hero survives to fight another day. So uh, we are six out of nine. So over the nine films, he's he's died six times. Um, and then with the resurrection tracker, uh, I guess since he, I mean, uh, we've really kind of gone back and forth on, you know, he gets stabbed, but he's okay. All this mythical stuff, but I think because yeah. he didn't die and yeah. come back to life, I can't count it. So um, unless he two, did. Because doesn't it fade out after all this shit happens? Mm -hmm. And maybe that could have been him dying and then being reborn the next morning. Uh, oh, but I don't, I don't think it's explicit enough know. to count yeah. it. Yeah. I'm just I wouldn't saying say it as it's, a, it's as like a discussion up, point. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah it's too, it too vague to really... To, but to, that could be another way to interpret it, I think. Because right. he actually did get killed by the knife. He died in, over the night and then he was... And then woke you know, up. Woke yeah. back up and now he was ready to go kick some ass. But yeah, I don't think it should be counted. It's not. Uh, yeah, so it's not. Yeah, not focal enough. 